Hello everybody, happy Thursday. Mitzi Dela Cruz here, host of Lincoln Live. And today we are super excited to be here live with Gary and Darlene Kramer of Blabbermouth Chocolates. Blabbermouth Chocolates is a true Lincoln success story. So I'm super excited to hear more and I know you guys are, are too. So uh, without further ado, I just wanna thank you guys so much for, for agreeing to do the interview today. And thank yeah, you. Yeah. And can, can you start off by telling us a little bit about yourselves? I think the introduction should be from Darlene explaining why she wanted to be a chocolatier. <laughs> okay. Well, like a lot of good home chefs, I burned a lot of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> and I finally was fed up and thought I need to really know, know a little bit more about working with this material. Sure. So um, I told Gary one, one Christmas morning, I'm enrolling in a course. And he's like, okay, go. So I did. Uh, it was about a six month course. Once I got certified, I went to Chicago a couple times through their Chocolate Academy. We've been to Canada to learn how to color chocolates. Ooh. So we are um, well-rounded now on some of the chocolate making process. And it's been nothing but fun since I've done it. I love it. My fave. I think that's the key to the success. You know, we can honestly say we're having fun. Right, you know, we are. We're not clock punchers. We've got a great team here. We've got a couple of part-timers. They're just fantastic. Uh, but when Darlene completed the course, mm -hmm. uh, she came to me and she said, hey, I'd like to open up a, a business. And I said, that wasn't really the deal at the time, <laughs> but no, but, but it's good. I said, what do you want to do? And I, I don't know. I'm a chocolatier. I can do all kinds of stuff now. Right. It's okay. So we had to come down with a niche. What, right. How are yeah. we going to differ ourselves from everybody else? Um, her, her project at the end of the class, uh, they had to produce something that was marketable mm -hmm. and having not been in the industry, that was tough on her. Uh, but she did a, um, a coffee-infused truffle, right? It was a bonbon. A bonbon, And yeah. um, I sampled it to all of our friends and family, and everybody loved it so much. Then we did some wine parties with it to see if we really could sell it. And um, then we decided to turn it into a bar, um, which is a little easier to easier to package uh -huh. and that turned out so well that here we are we started our first two years as uh, wholesale only mm -hmm. and um, we have um, customers from uh, Sacramento all the way to New Jersey now that we sell to and um, from there actually from the bar two years later we opened this retail center and now we've expanded our footprint and now we make a lot of different types of chocolates and other other uh, favorites for the holidays and everyday enjoyment so then the name you might want to know a little bit about the name um, <laughs> you know everybody wants to know about the name yes. and I'm so happy to say that I uh, I accuse Gary of being a blabbermouth mm -hmm. because when we were talking about opening the business he, uh, I found out he was conversing with his brother about the plans before I was included. Oh. And so, yeah, that was my reaction. And I said, you're <laughs> such a blabbermouth. And then, you know, then we kind of tied it together and thought, well, wait a minute, that might be a good name because we make a coffee chocolate bar and you get a little caffeine in you. Maybe you're going to talk a little bit more. Okay, those fit. That makes sense. So from there, we, we got the name. I love that. Well, it, it, and then the other part, people always say, well, the logo, how yeah. did this come about? And and some people think that, you know, we got the, the beans here, but these are actually, it amplifies the bars. Um, so having no clue, no design background whatsoever, we found a website uh -huh. and we went on there and it looked like the more money you can put up front with a good kind of description of what you think this should represent of your business, uh -huh. uh, we pushed a button. The, yeah, the more uh, graphic artists bid on it. Yeah. yeah. And so we spent $200, which to us was a lot at the time. Sure. We didn't know what mm -hmm. we were buying. Yeah. And we found the best graphic designer in Bucharest, Romania. Yeah. Uh -huh. He still designs for us. His it's name been is uh, awesome. it's, it's Doro Faduk. Yes. Oh. And we've worked with Doro every five years, five years yeah. plus. Love it. And he, he's genius. At one point, he actually. Um, uh, about less than a year ago, we got an email that said, "Hey, I'm I just went with this big commercial company. I'm no longer, you know, individual." Yeah. And I quickly typed back. I was like, "Hey, hey, hey, are we gonna lose you?" He goes, "No, we have a lifetime contract." Oh, that's and it's great. so he cool. helped He's create great. us. Yeah, you know, he really branded us. Right. And so we're very grateful to him and his family for, you know, doing that for us. And we do feel very connected. One day, maybe we'll be able to to meet up. 
Have you ever sent him any chocolate? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A couple years ago. T-shirts, yeah. chocolate, everything that he designed. It, yeah. it packed took up two and months. Sent him. It took two months for, for Doro and his family to get the package. There's oh. problems with customs. And I think he got them sometime like mid-February instead of for Christmas, but oh. they still got them. Yeah. yeah. But it was nice. It, we've been very, very fortunate. I mean, when, when we moved from... Flochini Circle mm -hmm. over to here. We found this location and now we're in retail um, and it's been magnificent. Right. You know, yeah. we just keep edging along. Nothing's. And been we love fast. Lincoln. Yeah. We knew when we moved from Flochini to this location that we weren't going to leave Lincoln. Right. So we struggled to find a place that, that a light manufacturer can even go in, in our little town, but uh -huh. we managed and we're here and thinking about moving maybe in the near future downstairs and expanding our footprint a little bit more. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That is awesome. That's I know. If, if, if. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, 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 yeah. but we're, yeah. we're looking into yeah, it. Yeah, we're looking at it. We're, we're, people always say, you know, how long have you been here? Yeah. You know, we're coming up on May 1st will be three years in this location. Mm -hmm. And every day people walk through the door and they go like, how long have you been here? And I'm a jokester. I always say, I got here by 1130. Why? You know, and yeah. they, <laughs> but, but every day we find new customers. Right. Every we single do. day. Yeah. And it's, it's so gratifying. It's awesome. And they come back. And there's right. so many people moving into our community yes. that we love meeting the new people and welcoming them to Lincoln. And hopefully we're putting a smile on their face with some chocolate. Now, how long have you guys been in Lincoln? Since um, 2000. Yeah, yeah. 2000. Oh, okay. So yeah. you've really seen a lot of growth. Oh, big time. We have. Yeah. We have. I mean, we remember uh, certainly when the building wasn't a, a running feed uh -huh. service, but we saw the silos yes. at the end of the building, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that was really cool. It was sad to see them go. So, yeah, we've all seen changes in Lincoln, but they've all been for the good. Yeah. It's nice. It's a nice town. Yeah. I we hope... We actually have new owners of this building that oh, yeah. officially, we understand, take over next uh, month uh -huh. and have some big hopes for this building. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we're pretty excited about that. Did you want to look at any of our products while you're here? Yeah, actually. Um, you can even taste them if you want. But yeah. <laughs> well, that's why I, I wore the hairnet hoping that I would get to yeah. taste a little bit okay. if I played by the rules. Well, the most, the most important, obviously, has been our bars. Uh -huh. This is how we started our... That? What's that? Yeah, there you go. We, we, we started with the bars. Um, and the fun part about these is each of the bars, except for our double caffeinated French roast, is equal to roughly a cup of coffee in the caffeine level. This one's about two and a half cups. A lot of Whoa! Whoa! Oh. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Sorry if we lost you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so these are a lot of fun. I mean, everybody from, uh, you know, hospital workers to long-haul truck drivers, that's absolutely their favorite. Uh, In-house, we do these truffles, which are absolutely magnificent. Uh -huh. Darlene makes a, a really nice ganache filling uh, with this chocolate port wine and infuses it into these truffles. Oh, and they're nice. so much fun. And I'll tell you, a lot of people buy them and take them to like a house party or something. Yeah. We have peanut brittle. We do two caramels. One's a chocolate caramel with uh -huh. sea salt. And the other new favorite is a honey whiskey caramel with oh. sea salt. And, you know, people go, oh, is there too much alcohol in it? No. <laughs> you know, but it, it just has a new fresh taste. And sure. we're doing really well with that. I noticed today we're out of a big cellar bars but we're making some more today we do an italian black cherry Ooh. and it has almost um it's not like the maraschino it's more a little bit sour and sweet uh -huh. in the same bite oh, okay and they are so much fun we're always adding new product we manufacture here in this little space probably about 50 percent of what we have gotcha. the others we've got some great vendors that we bring in product we've got some really nice gift boxes coming in for valentine's oh. so we're emphasizing to people you know you better start planning right now because when it hits valentine's is absolutely nuts and we love every minute of it yeah so oh, oh we've got some questions we do okay. um so the coffee caramel bars sound amazing have you made those yet yes they're here no no we have we have i'm sorry the question was Coffee caramel? Coffee yeah. ca No, we, we're no longer making a coffee caramel. We do have the whiskey and the chocolate. We did make it quite a while ago, and we phased it out for the two new ones. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then um, how much are the candy bars? The candy bars are 350 
Yeah, we also do a really nice little four pack if somebody's interested for a gift or a thank you or a referral. Or anything yeah. like that. There's a four pack for $15. A lot of people just take their business card, mm -hmm. slide it in here, and they hand it off and they can use the verbiage, don't forget to blab about us. Oh, I love that. Yeah. That a, lot, a lot of people are doing that. And for people that want, I mean, we do all kinds of gift baskets walk through the door and they'll say I have a $25 budget yes. and we'll put something together depending on the likes or dislikes of their customer I or their that. friend or their relative yeah did you have any input on that um, <clears throat> I was gonna say for there are some items that I can't make because I don't have the correct equipment uh -huh. for instance a malt ball because it's round and it, they call it panning but we found a really good chocolate tier nearby, so they have the equipment, so I'm able to bring in some products that, although I'm not making them, they're just as good as mine. Oh. So I feel happy to sell them. Yeah, it's great when you can partner with other local businesses. Oh, yeah. and Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, good yeah, for yeah, everybody. Yeah. It's good for our economy, our tax dollars. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, I know. I love that, the collaboration. I want to circle back to that port wine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I found my uh, what yeah. I'd like to taste. No, I'm just kidding. But, um, <laughs> in any case, can you can you uh, talk about how much how much does that go for a bottle? It's twenty a bottle. Okay. Uh, this comes from a, a vintner down in the Madera area called Ficklin Wineries. Okay. Uh, they've been making port since about 1948. Oh wow! And it's the only port that we've ever found that you can really taste that chocolate mm. in the port itself. So. Uh, the fun thing to do with it is float it on top of champagne, yeah. let it, it just ribbons. ribbon, and it, it just actually it's perks beautiful. up a champagne. Yeah. Ice cream is good, cheesecake is good, and mm -hmm. the worst case by itself after dinner. You know, it's, <laughs> it, it's really delicious, and we sell cases and cases and cases of it yeah, I through it. this little store here, and even Ficklin Wineries is like, what do you guys do? You know, you're giving it away. We're yeah. not <laughs> licensed to actually have a tasting room right. so yeah. we can't open it that's okay but <laughs> we can certainly <laughs> describe everything about it yeah. and hopefully you'll taste it by the time we're done describing it that it makes flavor. a great gift oh yeah it does it really does yeah, that gift wrapped handed to somebody with chocolate is like where'd you get that and it, it, it people enjoy it I, we've we've always had a bottle at home just a little sip after dinner yeah and it's wonderful would you like to try a little bit of our of our uh, toffee absolutely i would love to do you want to try the truffle first uh you know what We'll go ahead and start with the toffee. Okay. This is a real buttery toffee mm. with a good chocolate and almonds on top of it. It's That's got a, awesome. got a great texture to it. It's not too hard that you're uncomfortable biting into right. it. Right. And a lot of people are. They're kind of fearful. Yeah. yeah. No, that, that's got a really good flavor to it. That's delicious. No? Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I like that a lot. Um, and so I understand that it's just the two of you, and then you've got a couple part time. Two part timers. We do. Yep. We yeah. do. Uh, Chuck's with us today, and I'm teaching him how to um, make the toffees mm -hmm. and the peanut brittles and all of the other products that we make out of a, a particular machine. And mm -hmm. he's doing a great job. So one of these days, I'm going to hand the reins to him, and I'm going to keep working on some of the new products. That's great. Right. You know. I, one of the things um, that I find is that, especially as chocolatiers, like you said, there's a lot of competition. Um, who wouldn't want to, you know, establish a business where you get to work with chocolate? And so, you know, there's a lot of people who who get into the business and then they ultimately aren't able to find that niche and able yeah. to, to grow. I just think it's phenomenal what you guys have done. And so how many different ideas did you go through before you um, settled a lot. on the coffee? A lot. Um, during the course of the class, I mean, you literally start with here's a, here's chocolate, and the and actually the first thing we had to do was buy different chocolates and taste. Mm -hmm. And so we probably bought about twelve different chocolates. It was like um, a brown bag. Mm -hmm. So I had um, a a core group come mm -hmm. over to the mm -hmm. house. We all sat around, we all tasted the chocolate, we rated the chocolate for the mouthfeel, the flavor, the lasting flavor. Uh -huh. And we finally settled on what we're using today. And then after that, it was, okay, now you're gonna learn how to make a truffle. Now you're gonna learn how to make a, a cream-filled bonbon. You're gonna make a ganache. And yeah. I had so much chocolate at my house. <laughs> my neighbors, they, they were volunteering to help me. <laughs> I'll help you clean up yeah, yeah. Oh no, they just wanted to taste. <laughs> I think the amazing thing is we're still using the chocolate that was 
the most popular of that little focus group that yeah. we had that We've day. We've never yeah. changed yeah. just because it, it it was hands down. Yeah. And so our customers like it, and so we just stay with it. We've had others approach us about, oh, try ours, and we'll try it, but it's like, hmm. <laughs> so I got to tell you guys a funny story. Um, I feel like I'm too close to the camera. It's okay if you <laughs> you want to film them. It's okay. Um, so at, at Christmas, I wanted to do uh, chocolate dipped pretzels with the kids. Mm. So I've got this four um, pot crock pot deal and I just dumped, you know, a bunch of chocolate chips into each, you know, one was butterscotch, one was white chocolate, and then I had a dark chocolate and a milk chocolate. All I did was burn the heck out of that. <laughs> <laughs> it stunk. I mean, it was just awful. My husband was like, oh my gosh, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, burnt chocolate smells yeah. horrible. It's not easy. And that was my point. It's not easy. It's no, not. No. And that's what I was doing. And I bake a lot at Christmas and I was gifting and I thought, I can't even work with chocolate because I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. And I tried microwaving it and I really <laughs> burn it. <laughs> so now um, I know how to control that a little bit better. So yeah. um, I wish I had the room to bring people in and teach them more about it. Yeah. I don't, but maybe when we move, maybe, maybe that's something we can yeah. do. You know what? So I feel like we're getting a lot of exclusive information here on Lincoln Live. And I'm sure that you guys are watching or it would totally be in... Um, I would totally appreciate the opportunity to come in and learn so you could maybe teach classes. And yeah. That'd be really cool. We've had Girl Scouts in here. Oh, yeah. And they earned a food badge. Oh, cool. They and created it was a, a badge for us. Oh, I'm nice. not sure how they did that, but somehow so they had, had a, like a little a, yeah. troop come in, yeah. and yeah. I think I had 12 girls in here, and they had so much fun. I had chocolate and sprinkles everywhere. Yeah. Um, but We're they still had, finding yeah. sprinkles. <laughs> 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 they had a great time. Yeah. We had a great time. And they went home pretty buzzed. <laughs> <laughs> because what they were making, they were eating. <laughs> nah, it's fun. It was fun. I, I think the most interesting thing we do when people come through the mm -hmm. door, um, we typically ask the question, you know, do you like coffee? I love coffee. Then we'll do some samplings, yeah. uh, little pieces of our coffee bars, and, and the look is, if I could just film the looks on everybody's face, it's like, <laughs> wow, this is really good. Yeah. It's because you know? nobody likes bitter coffee, yeah. and, and we've taken that away by adding it with the chocolate. Right. So it's you get to actually enjoy the flavor of the coffee, which is yummy. Yeah. We normally make about 230 bars per batch, and people go, okay. And then we inspect them, uh -huh. and then we weigh I'll them, go grab some. and then we Perfect. then we hand wrap every bar. Like right now, uh, Chuck's in there uh -huh. hand wrapping bars. Oh, wow. You know, and it's 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 very laborious, yeah. but it's a heck of a lot of fun. Yeah, and you know. The job is kind of therapeutic. <laughs> we, <laughs> we stare out the window and we wrap bars. Yeah. And it's just like you go into a little zone. Yeah. But when people realize that that's all handmade. Right. And a lot of people shop in this town for Made in Lincoln. That's right. It's a really big thing. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Oh, this is just one of the trays. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So we have to go through once we once I pour these and mm -hmm. unmold them, we have to go through every single bar and weigh it to make sure that it's over the 42 grams as we've labeled. Right. And then we wrap it with the hand wrap it with the foil and then we hand label it. And um, you know, it's a, it's a labor of love, but yeah. we're all pretty fast at it now. We've done it long <laughs> enough that it's pretty fun. And um, as long as your hands aren't too hot, it's pretty easy. Yeah. <laughs> if your hands are hot, you're going to melt the chocolate. Right. <laughs> now, I've been wrapping these bars over five years now. Oh, wow. And I never tire. When I first started, yeah. oh, it wasn't pretty. Yeah. You know, I, it was really frustrating. But once you get into the, you know, the rhythm of it, yeah. it's really fun. Yeah, <laughs> it's really it fun. Is. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's artsy. And it's like it one is. of our kids it goes is. out there. You got to try that truffle, by okay. the way. Okay. I know. I need to. Yeah. Pardon me. Yeah. You sit oh, right there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Try, okay. try that truffle <laughs> because this is, <laughs> this is, it's okay. <laughs> this is the oohs and the ahs. <laughs> I feel like I get to be the one um, having all the fun over here. So, Andre, you can enjoy in a bit. Um, <laughs> So I want to honor um, Cheyenne, actually, um, Cheyenne, one of our faithful uh, watchers, viewers. She's rather. watching right now. Oh, she is? I didn't think she's going to be able to watch live. So yeah. Cheyenne? Tracy, Tracy tagged her, so. Oh, great. Okay. <laughs> because um, she had some questions, and so I should have, you know. and I can look them up right now. Thank you very much. So I want to make sure that we're getting her questions answered. While we do that. Um, it, does anybody else have any questions, comments, anything for Gary and Darlene? Um, Sandy, I think it's Kiro. 
or Saro. Oh, uh, she said that I she worked mm -hmm. with you years ago. Yeah, she did. She said, wonderful yeah. heart, great people. Mm. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Do you want to move the camera back around? You got to see the aha moment. That was delicious. I'm doing stuff in my face. Yeah, yeah. Can you taste the port wine in there? Yes. Uh huh. It's perfect. You're a little heavy handed there, huh? That's good. Isn't that fun? Thank you. Yeah. Those people love those. And seriously, it's somebody calls you over for dinner and like, what am I gonna take? You know, grab a little four pack of those and take them over. You know, to your your host and you'll be probably invited back again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm guessing you guys get invited over for dinner quite a bit. People love yeah, us. Everybody wants people, chocolate. People love I it. wanted to show you one of the things mm. that I do is the colored cocoa butter. So this is the stiletto that I make for Valentine's Day and Mother's Day if somebody's looking for some special type of gift for that special person. That's awesome. I know, isn't that fun? Mm -hmm. How much does that weigh about? Um, it's about three quarters of a pound. <laughs> wow. Good thing that there's one, because I'm sure some women would be a little disappointed that they're not real shoes. <laughs> 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 I mean, beautiful. it'll make it up because it's chocolate, but <laughs> like, oh, look, new shoes, and I'll try it on. And, <laughs> and I haven't tried it, but you probably could put champagne in it and drink from it. <laughs> <laughs> now you're talking my language now. <laughs> Serious. <Yeah. laughs> I love it. I love it. No, it's any other questions? Yeah. yeah. Uh -oh. So, um, Cheyenne, her questions were, how did they come up with the idea of coffee chocolate, and who's the bigger chocolate lover? You or Darlene? Oh, gosh, oh. Gary. There's no question. <laughs> biggest chocolate no, no lover. question. Darlene is okay with chocolate. I can't live without it. See, and no, you know what? I take it in the veins. Oh. <laughs> it, it's funny because because yeah. I um, from what I found, just people I've come across, it's usually the women that are more uh, inclined to the chocolate, and the men are you know oh. take it or leave it type of thing. Oh. No, it's the opposite. No, the opposite. no, no, no. <laughs> I, I'm at the end of the rainbow. Every day that he I'm here, he could start his own yeah. club. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can be president of the Lincoln Chocolate Club like right now. <laughs> and the other question we may have kind of alluded to it: um, the coffee chocolate came about from her class project right. um, but then you know we kind of went back and forth and I said if you can do the same thing that you did with that with that truffle yeah. or bonbon excuse me then yeah, maybe we, maybe we can do the same thing with a bar our first yeah. bars were actually pretty small yeah and um, we we did three different coffees uh -huh. and we've even we're picky about our coffee so we've worked with probably about four roasters maybe and now, yeah, at least um, and actually one of our roasters is local Oh yeah, they're he and his wife are both ex-military, uh -huh. and they have a company called Reveille Coffee. Oh, and we love his coffee, and it and it shines through. In yeah, the he chocolate. does the yeah. Colombia and the Costa Rica bar for us, and he's working oh. yeah. on a couple other flavors yeah. right now. So oh. it's really fun. I'm a veteran; he's a veteran, yeah. and we just we just hit it they're off really veterans. well. That they're veterans. veterans. They're Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna scoot on yeah. over to this side again. And then, <laughs> and then Cheyenne asks, can I get a job as a coffee chocolate taste tester? I can taste coffee, chocolate, then the two together. I'm also open to tasting chocolate gummies, truffles, caramels, etc. <laughs> I have no allergies, so I can taste any constant, uh, concoction or idea they have. <laughs> Tell her to send us her name and contact, and I might, I might very well get a hold of her, because actually when we get our next uh, batch of of tasting chocolate yeah. or coffee from a roaster, yeah. I do would like, I, you know, we always sample it to our customers and ask for their opinions because I'm not going to introduce it as a selling product until I know yeah. it, it's it's desirable. So right. th that's not out of the question. Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> no. Oh that's my awesome. God, you, you just made her day. No. <laughs> she actually sent a resume and references. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be here in 20 minutes. <laughs> now, when we have a new batch of anything, yeah. we often sample it for sometimes three, four weeks to see if in fact, we're getting a positive result. Absolutely. You know, we tell and, and, and that works. I and mean, we, the we coffee have, as well. We have a criteria too. We yep. ask, you know, how do you feel about the, the mouthfeel, the flavor, do, yeah. you know, again, does it does it have a lasting flavor with you? Um, because we've been on demos, and we've watched people come over and taste some of our chocolates, uh -huh. and then they'll be like, okay, I'll think about it, and they'll walk around, and then they'll be back because it's still on their palate, King, right? King and they're like, the I gotta have some of that, <laughs> and so that's what we want. Give we a piece want of the Mexican. Pardon me. You gotta try one more thing. Okay. Force feed you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know my hands are. Yeah, you're it's okay. 
So, um, out of curiosity, all of the chocolate that that is um, that is created here mm -hmm. is this it is all, Colombia. Thank you. It all is coffee infused. No. 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 Okay. He's the, the only that, product yeah. is the bars, yeah, the only and, and that was kind of a stigma that we had to get over once mm -hmm. we went into retail because people still today walk in and they go like, is there anything you have that doesn't have coffee in mm -hmm. it? Yes, lots. Uh, well, but that's and, what we started with. And the Blabbermobile. And the Blabbermobile says it, yeah. His mm -hmm. Blabber is wrapped with coffee, mm -hmm. you know, coffee chocolate bars. And so, yeah, I, I mean, we don't want to go back and do another wrap on no. it, but we do make other products other than coffee. Yeah. That's good to know. That's so. a great question. Thank you. Yeah, because yeah. I'm sure there's people watching might have caffeine sensitivities. Oh, all the time. Absolutely. Yeah. They still want to support your yeah. business. And we don't do decaf. <laughs> <laughs> We're all about the caffeine. That's right. <laughs> and we actually have one sugar-free product that we sell. Uh, we always want to have something there because mm -hmm. somebody's gonna come through the door every day and say, "Like, do you have something sugar-free? Why let them go?" Right. You know. So we do have a sugar-free mint that's very good, and mm -hmm. most people taste it. They don't even know it's sugar free mm -hmm. so that is out there and we're always looking to make new products we get new ideas all the time uh, we just came from an all-day show in San Francisco mm -hmm. yeah. and we were looking for new product and new thoughts and we were yeah. eating every we were, we ate our way through, <laughs> through the show <laughs> yeah. it's like going to the grocery store yeah. and having it all available to yeah. we were just eating everything but yeah. um, we we do work with a another uh, chocolatier over in Petaluma who mm -hmm. does make some wonderful truffles. Mm -hmm. So I've got some heart-shaped truffles coming in mm -hmm. uh, pretty soon that are going to be at a great price point for the Valentine's and, Day. And they're all gift box and, and they look gorgeous. They're beautiful. And I think that as we did their products for the holidays, like yeah. for Christmas, we went through two, almost three orders. Uh -huh. So we know that when these come in, people and they have a great shelf life, yeah. so they can buy them early and you know stash them, make sure they don't eat them. But you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the hardest part is don't eat them. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And they want to, I want I would think early on, on Valentine's because mm -hmm. last year we were pretty well clean toward the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, gets a little slim at the end. I bet. Yeah. So can people pre-order? Oh uh, yeah. As soon as they come in, as soon as they see them on the website, yeah. I would. I well, would pre-order them, put them aside, whatever. They can buy them now. You can put them on Instagram, right? You'll put pictures on Instagram. They'll be on Instagram and Facebook and yeah. Twitter and EIEIO and all the <laughs> 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 If it's social media, I'm probably on it somewhere. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's that, awesome. And I believe in it. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah, and I know I had one other question for you, and I want to I want to respect your time. I know you guys had a little bit of a time crunch um, today. I want to make sure we're yeah. we're kind of keeping it. But while I'm thinking of my question, I want to let you guys know if you guys do share this video by noon tomorrow, comment on this thread to let us know that you shared um, directly here from the Lincoln Life page. You will be the recipient of, or you will be in a raffle to be the recipient of this lovely gift card. $25, uh, you can come in and, and pick out your chocolate, and so that'll be waiting for you here. So um, definitely share, and uh, do we have any questions, comments? I think Cheyenne had a couple more, didn't she? Um, those were the only ones that I saw. Oh, okay. Um, Terry Moore says, love chocolate. Uh, Diana, I'm sorry, Diana, uh, Jurgis? She says, I've been to the business so many times but never stopped on by. I need to. Not yeah. just for the amazing looking treats, but to support local business. That's right. Yes, I love the stiletto. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Joan Logue. I'm like butchering everyone's name. Um, she says I'm drooling, but when she had posted that, I think it was when you were showing the stiletto. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mary tagged a friend and said field trip. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Diana Jones says, I want to try one of those wine truffles. Mm. Mm. Yes, you do. <laughs> yeah, everyone, uh, I, you know, everyone wants to come see you guys now. <laughs> so why don't you tell everybody your hours? Yeah. Okay, our hours are Wednesday and Thursday, 12 to 6, mm -hmm. Friday and Saturday, 12 to 8. Um, and we're all, for those who don't know where we are, the Lincoln Brand Feeds Building upstairs down the hallway from Old Town Pizza. It's kind of a little uh, maze to get to us, but most people will never forget the way. I mean, they can leave little chocolate crumbs along the hallway <laughs> just to make sure that they find their way back to their car. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, I know what I was going to ask you. So, um, simplified. What are the what are the ingredients that you actually use 
I don't want your recipe, but <laughs> <laughs> that's proprietary information. Oops. Yeah. No, but I mean, um, t- is it just raw cocoa and sugar, or I, I have no idea. We do not make bean to bar, so okay. I do not have the equipment, and bean to bar is actually getting that raw uh-huh. chocolate and adding the sugars and all that kind of stuff. I can't do it because, one, I don't have room, and two, I don't have the equipment. It's, yeah. so it's starting with the actual I, yeah. cacao itself. I, but yeah. I buy the chocolate okay. and then melt it. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah, and um, like Gary said, that that would be crushing it and everything, which I can't do. And yeah. that three fifty bar would be ten dollars. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> no, I, yeah, that, well, they really are more expensive <coughs> if somebody's taking the time to make the right. bar. Um, and you can imagine they're they're great, yeah. but um, I don't think they're any maybe better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and that's the thing is, you know, if you can um, if you can skip a few steps, keep costs low, customers yeah. are happy. Yeah. You know, why well, that's even? it. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I honestly, I don't have the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the bottom line. Yeah, bottom line. <laughs> well, all we do, you know, wholesale, retail, and online mm-hmm. under 400 square feet. It's kind of fun. Yeah. You know, people say, well, how do you do it? I say, build more shelves. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go up. <laughs> That's all we can do. I mean, we, it, yeah. we're very organized. Yes. Yeah. yeah you have fun. to be yeah. in a small space, but that's okay. <laughs> you know, we've learned to deal with it and yeah. walk around each other a little bit and we're, we're fine. So one last question I have for you guys. Um, with the sugar-free product, yeah. Yeah. what do you use to sweeten that? Uh, we're buying the sugar-free. Oh, okay. I'm, buy, I'm I'm purchasing purchasing that from another chocolate. Of chair. course, the chocolate. You just yeah. explained that. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I, it takes me a minute to catch up. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. I, I actually have never, even in my course, we. I don't know why we didn't make. Well, I did. Uh-huh. I did make some sugar free. I made some sugar free ganaches and stuff. And yeah. they use other sweeteners, and they mm-hmm. taste just as good. Yeah. It just depends on the sweetener is how the flavor comes out. Sure. And as we mentioned, that particular mint that we have does not taste like sugar free. You right. if I gave it to you you'd never know. That's awesome. You want to taste a bit? Yeah. I need milk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's very rich. Have you had, have you, but we want to thank your audience and your yeah. followers Absolutely. for this opportunity. It's been great. Thank you. It's been a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. No, thank you guys so much. And definitely you guys share, share, share so that you can get in, into that raffle. We cut off the raffle Friday at noon. So, and then I try as, as close as I can to, to go ahead and do the raffle by Saturday at noon. But sometimes, you know, in my other um, activities, I might, you know, uh, be a little late on that. But. Just bear with me. You guys are great. So thank you guys so much for watching today. And thank you guys again for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day, guys.